All right, Shalom, Brother Kabad, back on the GMS lesson. GMS, keep pushing. Before I go any further, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekak, Wadash. The bonus to our apostles and elders is a great millstone for teaching us his truth according to the Bible and rule well. Another Shalom, the all the sincere Akim, so at the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity. <clears throat> Came across this article on BuzzFeed News. His landlord evicted him during the pandemic and then demanded 1100 for him to get his belongings. <clears throat> and this is uh, something that's going to um, befall a lot of our people, man. The so-called Negro, Latino, Native American. And these are bad times that are going to hit our people, man. And that's why we tell our people to repent for their wickedness. Turn back to the Heavenly Father. Because troubling times are here. Alright? They're not ahead. They might, well, they are ahead, but they're here. And they're going to get worse, man. So before I go into the precept. <clears throat> this, um, before I go into the, the article, let's get a precept. Let's go to Amos. <clears throat> Amos 3 and 1 <clears throat> Hear this word That the Lord has spoken against you O children of Israel The children of Israel consist of the so called Negro, Latino, Native American sea line Okay Against the whole family Which I brought up From the land of Egypt Saying You only have I known Of all the families of the earth Therefore I will punish you for your iniquities and that's what you're going to see in these upcoming days, man. You know, the Lord judging Israel, Jacob, all right, the 12 tribes for their sin upon sin, man. That's why you see a lot of our people uh, losing their jobs, their homes, having to sell everything they own. Because the Lord is in the, in, in, in the season of judging, man. The Lord is in the season of judging our people, man. This is Amos 3 and 6 say trumpet be blown in the city You know trumpet is a loud playing instrument Okay <clears throat> And that trumpet is this word Okay It tells you that in Isaiah 50 and 1 Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet And show thy people their transgressions And that's what we're doing You know week in and week out Even with these sit down lessons that we're doing right now through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Throughout the four corners of the earth, man, you got brothers preaching this truth, man. Okay, so the trumpet is this truth, man. So a trumpet be blowing the city and the people be not afraid. That's right, man. You know, and it's not talking about an actual trumpet. Because when you see trumpet playing in the city, people get hyped up. People start dancing. You know, people start, you know, you know, getting down. But this is a spiritual trumpet, man. And that's why a lot of our people can't get it. It's, it says, and the people be not afraid. The people supposed to be afraid when they hear these words, man. You know? It says, shall the, there be evil in a city? Bad times. And the Lord have not done it? That's right, man. So it's the Lord, the one that put our people in these positions, man. In these bad times. I mean, look. On the park bench. All right? <coughs> Got whatever left of his belongings with him. And that's, you know, he's just got an early jump start on what a lot of people are going to go through. It says a man sits on the park bench in Salt Lake City. It's April 14, 2020. Long before the pandemic hit, Ty had already sold his plasma and pawned his laptop. He no longer had internet service at home. Then he lost his contract job during customer service for one of the country's biggest banks this past April. He watched as the coronavirus blanketed the United States and the death toll rose and the government botched its response. He grew dependent, despondent, Slakian. His mind began drifting to all the things he had lost over the years. His beloved father, his grandfather, a connection to his estranged family. He was alone now in Salt Lake City. Apart from his tree cats, three cats, he started to drink daily if there was enough 
was money for it. There was no work and getting out of bed became hard. <clears throat> it says this was an unfamiliar pattern for the 39 year old white man who asked to be identified only by his first name, Ty, to protect his identity. And yeah, in, in, in the, these times that, you know, they're going to affect all nations, man, but mainly Israel. And, you know, who knows? It could be a Jake, man. You know, his sea line could go back to a uh, Israelite. All right. But these curses will fall upon these heathens, too, man. OK. You know. In these last times, it says um, he had depressed anxiety and insomnia, and he's going through bouts of heavy alcohol consumption before. You know, and you know, you can read on. I'm not going to read all into it. But, you know, the point is, bad times are coming like this, man. And it's going to be mainly befall Jacob. Because it's the time of his trouble, as the scriptures say. This is uh, Jeremiah 30. And these scriptures come out often, man. But, hey, you know, like the apostles say, we got to be repetitive with Jake. That's how Jake gets it. This is uh, Jeremiah 30 and 7. It's like, you know, you play a song over and over and over until eventually you get the lyrics down. Same way with this truth. This is Jeremiah 30 and 7. It says, Alas, for, the day, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay? And Jacob's trouble is here, man. All right? You got, uh, um, you know, evictions left and right at an all-time high. Okay? Famine, a lack of food, bread, and water. That's going to really befall our people, okay? Whether it's through the uh, the prices jumping sky high, you know, inflation, or whether there's actually no food trucks hit right into the stores, okay? But one way or another, it's going to be a, a terrible time for our people. It says, but he shall be shit saved out of it, that he is talking about the elect, okay? The remnant, the Lord always deals with a remnant, Okay? Now you gotta understand these 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 are terrible times that are coming, man. And to get right with the heavenly Father before all hell breaks loose. Okay, it's not too late, man. It's the same Matthew four and seventeen. It says, from that time, Yahweh Shah began to preach and to say, repent, okay, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, okay, and this is, you know, these scriptures were written, you know, over 2,000 years ago, okay, the Lord was on the scene telling our people to repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, how much more now, when you see prophecy fulfilling, you see prophecies coming down the pipeline, man, left and right, okay, prophecies of, of famine, Food, bread, and water. Look, family of the word. Taking out these pages. Okay? Flagging videos. Homelessness. Right? Being 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 um brought low, man, to poverty, man. Very very uh 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 low in society, man. The RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, is here. Okay, so these things are here, man. You know, you got to repent for your for your wickedness, man. If you don't want to get caught up in the wrath that the Heavenly Father is bringing. Let's see, let's get, um. This is, uh, 2 Corinthians 6 and 17. It says, Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate. Who's the them? The, the 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 world. Okay, the ways of this world, the mindset, <clears throat> the things that's taught here. Okay, you gotta come out from 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 among that man. You know, you're in a Christian church, the Baptist church, the Catholic church. Okay, being uh, um, you know, Moors and you know, Kemet and all that nonsense. You gotta come out of that man and separate yourself because Kemet's not gonna save you. Being a Baptist Methodist is not going to save you. But being who you are, an Israelite, so-called Negro Latino Native American, turning back to the Heavenly Father, repenting, that's what's going to save you. 
having this wisdom. All right. It says, say of the Lord and touch not the unclean thing and I will receive you and I will be a father unto you and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. The unclean thing, the philosophies, the doctrines like I was going into, man, with these these churches, okay, voting, things of that nature come out of that, man. Because you don't want to be the next one homeless. You don't want to be the next one uh, 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 on the streets, man. You know? So with that, I like to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's own begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekak Wadash, double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone for teaching us his truth according to the Bible, Haru well. I know Shalom, the artist, sincere, I can throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity. Shalom.